Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be reviewing Guilloche from Van Cleef and Rappels. I'll be talking about its pros and cons and I hope that you like this video and will find it interesting. By the way guys, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style please also consider checking out my other playlists i posted quite a few videos about cartier van cleef and rappels bulgari rolex luxury tips and mistakes dior jewelry weekly vlogs style and fashion chanel bags luxury shopping vlogs beauty products and travel videos. I discovered Guilloche Gold for myself back in 2019 and the moment I saw it I fell in love with it. However, it took me about two years to pull the trigger. I just had to make sure I'll be wearing it non-stop and I'm so happy that I bought it. Guilloche Gold by Van Cleef and Rappels was introduced in 2018 and it was introduced for Alhambra's 50th anniversary. The pattern reminds me of the sun rays. It sparkles especially bright when the sun hits its surface. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. It looks even more gorgeous in the real life. I have to say Guilloche line is probably one of the most beautiful in Van Cleef and Rappels. Even though it doesn't have diamonds, you can see it a mile away. No other brand has such a stunning jewelry. Nothing can compare with it. I especially love Guilloche gold in 10 motif necklace because it's just such a statement piece. And I also love the versatility of this necklace because you can actually wear it as a bracelet. You can wrap it around your wrist two times. And even if you find it a bit tight, you can always ask Van Cleef and Rappels add additional links and make it longer. I actually have done it to my other necklaces in White Mother of Pearl and in Onyx. And I have been wearing it like that. Van Cleef and Rappels also have very beautiful pendants and I tried on the large. It's so pretty and it looks so good with the knitwear. I think it would look fantastic with a chunky sweater and with a pair of jeans. It's so beautiful. I also tried on the small one in the past but it's pretty hard to get it in a store these days. Recently Van Cleef and Rappels has also introduced pink gold which is absolutely beautiful and I like the combination with carnelian. Unfortunately it's quite hard to find it in the stores and you may have to order it in advance or probably put your name on a waiting list. It depends on a country where you're located because each country has its own rules. I know that, let's say in Canada, you can easily pre-order stuff and you will receive it. Just a couple of months ago, Singapore did not allow pre-orders, but I hope it's going to change soon or maybe it has already changed. I would say the hardest to find from Giosh collection would be the earrings. They are so rare and I only saw them in the store two to three times in this past two years and I purchased it when I saw it for the third time because I knew it's going to be a while before I see it again and I'm so happy that I pulled the trigger. They are so light, they are very comfortable and they really stand out and every time I look at them they just take my breath away. They are so stunning. Anyways, let's talk about pros and cons of Guilloche Gold. I will start with cons. The first thing that comes to mind is the fact that it's quite easy to scratch it. Even though my jewelry is still okay, my necklace is perfect, it doesn't have any signs of wear and tear, it's still relatively easy to scratch it. If you are planning to get the bracelet and stack it with other jewelry, you have to be a bit more careful with it. 
If you pair it with Cartier Love or just include, it should be fine because of its edges. However, if you pair it with diamonds, it will be a lot easier to scratch and damage it. And over time, it will lose its shine and there is nothing that you can do to repair it. Of course, my necklace does not get scratched. There is nothing that can possibly scratch it. Even if I pair it with another necklace, for example from Montleaf and Arpels, it will still be okay because of its edges. However, if I stack it with a Tanis necklace, it can get scratched. But it's so beautiful on its own, I don't feel like I need to pair it with anything else, it's already perfect. Of course, the earrings don't get scratched, there is nothing else that can scratch it. Even if I wear it with my headphones and they can accidentally touch the earrings, they are still okay. There is no issues whatsoever, which is great. And now let's move on to the pros. Well, the first one is, of course, its unique design. It's so gorgeous. It's such a statement jewelry. And you can see it a mile away because it sparkles so bright as if you're wearing a necklace that is just covered with diamonds that reflect the light, which is so beautiful. It looks fantastic with different colors of clothes and it works with pretty much anything. However, I specifically prefer to wear it with black. I just love the combination of black and gold. It's so stunning. I think it's the prettiest and the most elegant. I like the fact that you can pair guilloche with pretty much anything. For example, a necklace can work with another collection, free wall. They look great together and I actually have these earrings in a bigger size. They also look amazing and that's what I like about Van Cleef and Rappel's jewelry because different combinations work together. I also like the way guilloche looks with different stones. For example, this combination, it's one of my favorites and I have been wearing it like that so often. It's nice to combine different colors and different textures. For example, even here when I combined two different necklaces, I like the way it looks with Mother of Pearl. It's so beautiful and I like the versatility. I feel like Guilloche elevates everything. Guilloche is such a conversation starter. I always get a ton of compliments whenever I wear it. Anyways guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will respond to you. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!